Hi, my name is Andrea Kennedy Smith, and I use she, her pronouns, and I am running as an independent candidate for Oregon Senate District 12 for Yamhill and Polk Counties. I am a paralegal for ODHS Child Welfare and an SEIU member. I have lived and worked and raised my family in Yamhill County, and I am running for the state Senate because the state legislature is not doing good enough for working families. My top three priorities as a legislature would be all about cost of living crisis impacting families like mine. That includes access to affordable childcare, fighting out of control rising rents and housing costs, and ensuring we have healthcare providers and home care workers in Oregon where families need to access them. I had the honor as an active SEIU member to be a chief petitioner in Measure 113, ensuring that our state Senate has to actually do their job. I'm proud to have played a part in guaranteeing accountability for state senators who walk off the job while working Oregonians can't afford food for their families. And I'm running for the Senate to make sure that our state policies are focused on those families. I have stood up for working people as an active SEIU member, including as a contract specialist and as an elected union leader. I am very proud to have created materials to train stewards and developing a stewards academy so we can more effectively stand up for our union siblings. So we can learn how to enforce our collective bargaining agreement, learn how to work collaboratively with management and human resources, and assist employees when they are being mistreated in the workplace. I would be honored to earn SEIU's endorsement because I have seen firsthand how we fight for the kind of working people I see struggling in my community. SEIU members from home care workers to healthcare professionals are providing the critical services families need across Oregon. And I wanna be the kind of candidate that is fighting for them and the people they serve. In reviewing the SEIU policy book, I would like to focus on three policy areas I have spent years fighting for alongside my fellow SEIU members. First is workplace safety. Within SEIU members, we have home care workers struggling with physically dangerous work and unsafe work environments, and employees in state agencies, not to mention health care providers, are subject to unsafe work environments and unmanageable workloads. Second is a focus on our state budget. I start from a place of thinking that it's well past the time for the wealthiest Oregonians and corporations to pay their fair share in taxes. The number one solution to our unacceptable underinvestment in critical state services, not to mention our schools, is more revenue from those who are most able to pay. But beyond that, I've seen firsthand how the legislature's budget process ignores the input of state workers on the front lines of Oregon's challenges, and I'm tired of it. Last but not least, public employees' compensation and PERS. We have too many public employees who are struggling to make ends meet in Oregon. They deserve a living wage and to be able to provide for their families in the communities that they serve. If we want to retain the dedicated professionals that we have and attract the best possible talent, we need to pay accordingly. I have demonstrated my commitment to workers and social justice over the last 17 years. I understand labor issues and feel confident I have the passion to champion labor priorities if elected. Thank you so much for your time. I am honored to have the opportunity to earn your endorsement.